Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay, and today I'm bringing you a video on the new Kingdom Hearts 2.8 trailer that just released. This is basically going to be my thoughts, maybe some predictions, as well as talking a little bit about some details that interested me about the trailer. So to start off, we get this amazing ESRB rating card. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. So for real though, to start off, we have footage of the HDified, yeah, that's a word, Dream Drop Distance. There's not much I have to say because I don't really care as much about that as I have it on 3DS, so none of this footage is new to me. But I do care about one part, and that's the touchscreen and how they're going to implement that into the PS4 controller. But I'm not going to talk about that because that's for a whole different video. So anyway, moving on. After that, we get footage for the part that I'm actually hyped about, which is the 0.2 Birth by Sleep, a fragmentary passage stuff. It starts with showing us Aqua, who is in the Castle of Dreams world, which if you've played Birth by Sleep, you'd know is the Cinderella world. So here she is looking at the castle when suddenly the path just bursts apart and falls into, what is that, nothingness or something? I'm assuming nothingness, because it's the realm of darkness. Well, after that, we finally get to see some gameplay. This just looks amazing. So I have seen that people have started thinking this was Daybreak Town from Kingdom Hearts Key, or that it could be Traverse Town from Kingdom Hearts 1 and Dream Drop Distance. But it's not. This is the town area of the Cinderella world, Castle of Dreams. So next we see the animation for when the fighting starts. And just like all of the other games, and all the other characters in all the other games, she materializes the Keyblade, but unlike the other games, it does something that so far we've only seen in the trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3, where once this happens, the camera zooms in a little. So it looks like this game and Kingdom Hearts 3 are going to be sharing that, which is kind of cool to me. Then here we also see where she jumps to fight a Heartless, which looks like a brand new Heartless we've never seen before. It looks kind of like a mix between a fiery globe and a dark ball, but I, whatever. <laughs> it just, it looks really cool. And she seems to use Blizzaga, which you would use because this Heartless looks like a fire Heartless. And just like, and just like in Agrabah when you're fighting the Volcanic Lord and the Ice Lord, I believe it's called, you use fire on the ice one and ice on the fire one because it's strong against them. So in this game, it looks like that's going to come back where you can use types against each other, kind of like Pokemon. Then she does Thundaga, which, I mean, both of these just look amazing. They just look fucking awesome. Oh, and speaking of using magic, it seems like she has a set list of shortcuts in the shortcut menu. And even more so, it looks like there are two shortcut menus here. And I believe in Kingdom Hearts 3, Sora is going to get multiple ones too. I don't know exactly how many, I don't remember. But I remember that they did the same thing. So I'm quite interested to see how these work. Like, how do you get to the second menu? I'm assuming that you're going to use the shortcut button, which is probably, just like all the other games, going to be the L1 button, and using the up and down arrows on the D-pad. It seems like a good way to do it, but I guess we're going to find out. Then it seems, just like in the first Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer that we saw, that there's going to be a Heartless Swarm type thing. We can also see an HP gauge for it, which seems to say that this is a boss, and not just a bunch of Heartless that you have to beat one by one. Because if you notice, there are separate ones with their own HP gauges as well that are just like two hit HPs. Then she does what seems to be the finisher move for Spellweaver, which that's pretty cool. Um, it, I can't, I couldn't really understand what she said. It sounded like Arrow to me, but I don't remember too much about Birth by Sleep as far as what the attacks were called because I didn't pay that much attention to, to that much detail. And I also forgot to mention this a little earlier when she jumped up and did the Blizzaga thing. It looks like you can also use, similar to a reaction command, but the triangle button to activate things like the Spellweaver. And it seems to give you 30 seconds to activate it before it just goes away. So if you press triangle within that 30 seconds, it'll start that up. Then we see her in a cutscene reaching to the skies. 
which is actually kind of a normal thing to, to see when characters are trying to find their friends. Um, literally in just about anything, that's a, that's a thing. So, that's nothing special. We, we already know she's looking for Terra. That's like the whole point of being down there. And then last, the biggest kicker about this trailer. So we see Aqua standing in front of a staircase when who comes along? Fucking Terra! And that's the end! Cliffhanger much? I cannot wait to know what happens. And I honestly don't really have a theory for this, as I can't... Well, I sort of have a theory. But that's if I'm remembering correctly. I can't remember if the secret game at the end of Birth by Sleep Final Mix is directly after the game's events, or if it's after she talked to what I believe is, I believe that was Anson the Wise she talked to in the Realm of Darkness, who told her how Sora was saving everybody and whatever, because I'm pretty sure that secret game was after that. And if so, that's after Ansem's Secret of Darkness was defeated, and that could mean that Terra is back to himself, and they're finally able to reunite. But I don't want to guess too much here, so we're just going to have to wait and see. So after this comes the Kingdom Hearts Key back cover stuff, which I'm actually still lost on because I can't play the fucking game yet because my phone refuses to download it. And that's the only device I have to play it on. So all I can say is if this is how the cinematics thing is going to look throughout the entire back cover part, then that's going to be awesome. And I cannot wait. Alright, so that is all I have. Um, I know others have probably picked this video apart way deeper than I have, but whatever, I don't care. This is how I'm going to do this video. Anyway, that's all. Subscribe for more, and I will see you guys later.